Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode 17 of season 2 of Jobless Reincarnations. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, oh, hello, in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, oh my god, you're heavy. You want to go in bed? Uh, uh, okay, hold on. Jesus Christ. Wait! <laughs> Wait! Right? And you have to be responsible for her. Okay, so literally I was just about to watch this episode first, but when I checked the vid and it said, okay, it clearly said episode 17. I go on and just look for like a second because something just told me to. For some weird reason, the file that was deemed 17 was actually last week's episode. And so I'm like... Well, then where the fuck is 17? You know, you're telling me it aired on my phone. The episode came out. And I'm just like, where the fuck is the episode then? So I was like, well, let me try downloading this and then watching this and such. And finally, right now, episode, thank God. It's probably the one that looked like a deer. And see, nobody wants to do it and step up. Oh, because she's quiet? Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. I 
I think the biggest thing is she's upset. It's the situation of trying to be so much like your older brother or sister, because especially that's what it is. There's so much that she has like pressure on and such to be the best as him. And that's what he's not thinking about. And besides, not only your brother, your sister too. Your other sister don't even go to school. And she technically, you know, did better on her test than you. You just look like a really cool older brother who cares for his younger sister. And there's nothing wrong with that. Mm-hmm. See, the biggest thing is you're gonna have to you're gonna have to speak to her. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's always a reason why someone shuts himself out from everyone else. Right. What do you what do you do in this situation? And it's like you think talking to her would help. Maybe it's about bullying. Mm -mm. You done or not? Fine. That they are just once again so fucking sweet to each other. I wouldn't do that.
arguments, words of encouragement, but they'll be better. Yeah. And then there was just one day he just stopped. That's the day he stopped. Mm -hmm. Because how hard he tried to just get you to do something, anything, but because of the fact is you were so afraid. It's also sad because you just know he's never going to see him again. I mean, he didn't look drunk, though. But my thing is, why didn't you talk to him? Uh, the biggest thing is because she was afraid. Something also tells me, right when she said those words, that's when she was like, okay, mm. I want to be a shut-in. I don't want anyone to bother me. No. I mean, it's, you know, in a way, it's what you want. No. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. you can just see on her face and her demeanor that like she is just crumbling And the biggest thing, she she's so sick and tired of hearing that. Don't want to hear that either. No one, whether it's someone who you relate to or someone who you're friends with, no one likes it when someone compares you to someone else. It...
and Adam. The forecast for the next seven days, Monday, 86 degrees Fahrenheit with some sun and thunderstorms. Tuesday, 90 degrees and mostly sunny weather. Wednesday, 92 degrees and mostly sunny weather. Thursday, 96 degrees and high temperatures. Friday, 93 degrees and thunderstorms. Saturday, 86 degrees and partly sunny weather. Sunday, 85 degrees and intermittent clouds. Uh-oh. See, the thing is, she's also making herself sick. So she's been like that ever since. This is your chance to really, truly get to know your brother. Exactly. So you've got to take the initiative. For her, yes. Okay. You may not understand now, but one day you'll understand. you shouldn't run away neither. Only if your dad's being an ass. Mm -hmm. 
she gonna make friends and she's smiling even more. It's okay. Just take your time. And sometimes it isn't like that. Oh, God, this was an emotional episode. I mean, yeah, it didn't make me cry, but in the emotional standpoint, like, that fucking hit. As I was saying, nobody likes to be compared to someone else and such. Um, I'm even one of those types. I, I don't like to be compared to family members. I don't like to be compared to friends. I don't like to be compared to anyone. It, something in me gets me, it gets me really upset because it's like, I'm not going to be this person. I'm not going to be that person. I'm not going to be X, Y, Z, A, B, C, whatever. I just want to be me at the end of the day. That's the same thing when it comes to how much money I make, um, how many views I have, how many subscribers I have, whatever. Please don't compare me because it's like, it, you're, you're trying to compliment someone on that, but really, you're, you may not think it, but you're kind of secretly hurting someone's feelings, and you, that person won't say anything until it really, truly upsets them. Like, for me, the one thing I, I dislike about myself is that when something upsets me, um... I don't immediately say anything about it. I kind of let everything kind of eat away at me up until I'm like a ticking time bomb. And 9 out of 10, possibly, I end up going off on someone and lashing out someone and I end up yelling at someone. And doing that is never really the right thing. You always, especially when someone is hurting your feelings, you try to take that initiative. Um... And tell the person ASAP, but it also depends on who that person is. I will tell you that because there are some people who I have known in the 30 years of my life where it's like, either you need to tell them now or you need to tell them later. And you got to be in a, like, here's the other thing about me. And of course, the stereotype, the, the, mad, the mad black woman stereotype. I, I also hate confronting depending on the person, um, because I get hella emotional sometimes on the situation of it, and it sometimes goes, I wouldn't say my emotions go too far, but it's just like, some people think a certain type of way about that, and it's like, you tell someone, I don't want you to do this, and then they say they're not going to do it again, and then they possibly do it again, you know, and it's like, how do you not value someone's feelings and stuff? Do you not give a fu fine fuck about me? If you don't, please let me know. Because then we can stop. We, we don't have to play around, do this bullshit or anything. We can just stop being friends. We can just be acquaintances. So, at the end of the day, treat people the way you want to be fucking treated. Especially, it, it don't matter who the fuck it is at the end of the day. Friend, family, whoever. Treat them the way you want to be fucking treated. And if it comes to a point where somebody makes you upset, don't take the initiative and shut that down. Like, okay. Don't let it eat away at you. Shut that shit down ASAP. Because that's the right thing that you're supposed to do. Whether that person was right, wrong, or different, whatever. Always shut that shit down. 
because once it eats away at you and you end up lashing out on them or somebody else, it's just going to cause more of a mess and such. So, yeah. Moral of the story is treat her by the way you want to be fucking treated. But I do get the reason of why Norn felt the way that she did because almost everybody really feels like that. And, you know, um, sometimes, especially how Rudy was feeling about his past life and everything before he died, and getting the constant, um, the lectures, the, um, the storytellings, the words of encouragement, and such, um, and such, we've all had that. I still have those till this day from my mom. Mom, my mom is, like, my number one best friend. And we're, like, for an example, because I cannot believe I'm about to talk about this. So, I'm now in the, in the situation of possibly um either going to school or just staying where I am I like I love my job uh, I love being there four times a week uh, including a weekend especially because I don't always like being there on the fucking weekend um but my issue is all these other job applications I've put out and stuff you know how when you look at them and they say, like, your high, your, your, like, re not references, uh, like, what you need and stuff. Like, your first thing is always saying, like, you can have a high school diploma, da 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 whatever and such. Like, the, your qualities and such. And so I always will try out for the job because the biggest thing that I have is a high school diploma. Um, because I had this mindset and I think one of my TV shows got me, like, kind of hooked on this saying that, oh, I don't need to go to college um, to get a really good job. Well, kind of in this day and age, I kind of need to and such due to the situation of the hierarchy of wages of, of getting paid. Um, and so the thing I want to be is like a receptionist and such. So I think it was either last night or a couple of nights ago, I tweeted, um, possibly thinking about it, should I go to college, da, da, da. and so a lot of people, you know, came for, like, advice, or just, you know, sharing their opinion and stuff. Some people said, I think that is a really good idea, um, to continue your knowledge, because you never know what in the world could happen, and that could be good for you, and such. And then some people, it, it's like a, it's a hit or a miss. Sometimes that can work, and sometimes that can't work. I have seen people who, e even till today, I've seen so many videos on TikTok, so many videos on YouTube, where people who are college educated, they have all the qualifications of getting the job, and then they're so close to getting that job, and the next thing you know, they are not hired. And it's like that for me, where I have all those qualifications of getting a job, and I am so close to possibly getting an interview, something. And 9 out of 10, they've given the job to someone else because, you know, almost like the quick first come, first serve. And it's like, you didn't give me a chance or let me do an interview because you've already taken this person. You've already made up your mind. And so that I have that anxiety every single freaking time of doing job applications and stuff. And so I doing job applications in a nutshell is repetitive as fuck. I, I think if anybody who has done ish, it, it's so freaking repetitive. But um, the thing is, like, and I see my routine where I we have a conversation. I do a little bit and such, and then next thing you know, I fall through and I don't continue on. And then several months down the road, we have another freaking conversation about it, and then I do it all over again. And I even did that when I was at high school and such. Um trying to figure out if I did want to go to school at that time too, even though majority of the time was I was taking care of her because she got really, really sick. Um, and then some other things that I don't really want to talk about. But um, it's always about, I, I will say this, you, you try to have to, you have to get out of that rut that you're in. And that's the same thing with Norn. It took her this long to finally get out of that rut, this situation that she had with her brother for her to, you know, smile again. And all I will say is, it's going to be okay. It's it, Even though it's not great right now, it's going to be okay. So, I still don't even know what the fuck I'm going to do yet with my own life and such. But, it's going to be okay. 
we're going to make it okay. And we're going to strive for our brightest and <laughs> best and brightest at the end of the day. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 17 of season 2 of Jabba's Reincarnation. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Enjoy the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday for episode 18. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.